In this guide, you will see how you can register for the NHS app. Let's take enhance your primary care and learning. When you open the app, you'll be greeted with a screen that looks like this, and simply to get started, you need to tap on the big green button. Let's go. And then it'll ask you if you already have an NHS account, so an NHS login. Um, if you click yes, it takes you through to this window that is effectively to register just like you would do with an email address. And if you don't, you can click no and it'll take you to set up an NHS login as you can see here. And then simply to do that, you put your email address in, put a password and then agree to the security documentation and stuff to continue. So we're going to join up once we've done that. When you've done so, it'll send you an email to your registered email address to log in. As you can see here, I've just covered up my email address. And then you just simply click continue. Once you've got the email, just click on the link. Do make sure to check your junk folders to make sure it's not gone there by mistake. It is a very quick process, so it should only take a matter of a minute or so. And then simply put, you put the registration information here. So I'm going to do that right now. Once you've done that, it'll ask to send a code to your mobile phone number that you've used to register the device with. So just enter your number there. I'm just going to do that now. The system will then ask you to check your phone number and input the code, which is a six digit number, and then click continue. Let's do that now, shall we? The next screen will ask you to prove who you are so that you can use the NHS properly. And this is obviously for data security purposes, so therefore we're going to do that. Let's continue. In order to continue, it will ask you to provide details from your practice to prove who you are. If you've used the surgery's online details before, then it'll ask you to put those information in. If you haven't, then it's okay. So I'm going to say no. I'm going to try another way. And at this stage, it'll ask for a photo ID. So it'll ask to register that. So let's continue with that. So I'm going to suggest I'm going to use my UK driving license. And it'll ask me to take a photograph of my UK driving license in order to do this. So let's do that, shall we? So it opens up the camera app in order to let me do that. So I'm just going to take a photo now of this and then we'll come back to the next screen. And as you can see, it's now uploading my photo. It's important to remember that you can see all four corners when you're taking the image, otherwise the system may not be able to recognize the photo properly. So next it's going to ask to take an image of my face for a few seconds and also me saying a few numbers just so they can verify face and the ID. Let's do that, shall we? So it gives you particular four numbers that you have to say. Make sure you turn the camera around. So this is my video so you can see the numbers have changed just because I had to redo it to make the recording more effective. Five, nine, seven. And then simply you click yes to continue and it uploads the video for you. So then ask you for your NHS number. I'm going to click continue. Um, I don't know my NHS number like many people, so I'm going to click no. And it's going to ask for my details. So put my name in, continue. Put my date of birth. I'm afraid you guys aren't going to see this part. And then it asks for your postcode. Once you've inputted your postcode, it asks you to confirm the information and submit it. And then it lets you know that you'll be in contact within the next couple of hours. It normally takes about this long, but can be quicker. After a short while, you'll be able to register with the app once you've submitted all the information. There is a possibility you may have to submit the photo or the video again. If that's the case, it's dead easy to do. Make sure the images are clear and stuff. Um, but it's very quick, can take up to two hours at the most. And I've done that now. So I'm going to go log in now using my details. So go back to the app and click log in. And then this time I'll say, yes, I do have an NHS login. And scroll down and continue. They'll ask for your email address and password, so I'm just going to put those in now, and then we'll click continue. And when you do that, it will then send a security number to your mobile phone that you've used when you register. So I'll ask you for a code, I'm just going to put that code in. So this is the code sent to my mobile number, I'm just going to click continue. And it asks to connect to my GP surgery, so I'm going to click continue. So then it takes you to the terms and conditions of the NHS app and just have a quick look at those. Um, so you have to agree to these various different things. So it is intended to provide you information and services to help you manage medical conditions or treatments, but it's not a substitute for your GP or medical service. 
Information available through the NHS app comes from third parties um, as, and they are not responsible for the information from that. Information from the NHS app also gives you access to NHS services which may have their own terms and policies and that kind of stuff. And it uses a little bit of cookies and stuff and things to make sure that it works effectively. So I'm going to click yes and yes and then continue. And that is how you register for the NHS app. If you want to check out a more detailed guide, have a look at this video coming up right here. And alternately, YouTube is probably recommending another video for you right here.